This reporter right here is Simon Ateba. He's the most controversial reporter in the White House, and he's about to get the boot from the Biden administration. Why? It's complicated. I'm going to show you some of the interactions he's had with the White House and stick around for the letter that they just sent to him. It's pretty intense what the White House has gone to to get this one man booted out of these press briefings, which, by the way, only have 49 seats total. So he is in one of those seats. Here's how some of these uh, back and forth go. Can you take a question on the U.S.-African summit? Why is it so hard to take a question on the U.S.-African summit when the president is in 50 African leaders, the biggest garden of leaders of his administration. Why is it hard for you to give me it's, a question? It is not hard. I've answered. I've. Would you let me answer the question or are you get? Okay. Okay. I, I'm trying to answer your question. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. This is how these back and forth seem to go with Simon Ateba. And the White House clearly does not like this guy. They are not big fans. Simon Ateba says, hey, it's my job to question these people, not to be friends with them. Here's Admiral John Kirby. And you can tell in this clip that he's been warned about Simon Ateba. Listen up. Can you clarify what, 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 can you clarify what your job yes, in the White House is? You said that our can policy for China has been consistent. Your name is Simon, right? Yeah, I really si want to Simon? Ask you a Simon? I'm Simon? 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 Simon. If, if you allow me to ask you a question. Simon. Simon. I'm going to I'm going to call on this man. Now, sir, listen. Now, I've been polite to you, but I expect a little bit of respect in return. You know, you know where we are is the White House press briefing room, and you need to be more respectful. I'm going to call on this reporter. You just He's still going. You can hear the disdain in his voice for Simon Ateba, and you can see that he's been warned about him. Here's yet another back and forth, this with KJP. Uh, I just want to be very clear about that. discriminating against me for the past nine Stop. months. Stop. How is she discriminating against you? No, she, she, she called on you. She just gave you a few questions. I just need a question, question in nine months. Just ask a question. Please. Go ahead, Allow me to do my job and ask my question. Oh, when you say that you're by the way, these are other reporters going at this guy. So everybody is lining up. It's the world against Simon Ateba. I mean, what's he really doing wrong? He's trying to get his questions through. He's trying to ask these questions. They don't pick him for any of the questions, so he just tries to interject them where he can. And even his fellow reporters in this room are going after him. And you see that time and time again. It gets worse in a moment. Here's Simon Ateba describing what he thinks his job is. Our job is to ask tough questions, do great investigations. Uh, my job is not to be friend to the president of the US or even to the press secretary. Hmm. She doesn't need to like me uh, to give me questions. and. You know, by doing that job, by asking the tough questions and trying to do my job, I've realized that when you do that, sometimes you're sidelined. And that's as Sometimes you're sidelined, he says. And his fellow reporters truly, really, really dislike him. Here's Politico with an article that says, Simon says and says and says and says and says, as if he won't shut up. This man won't stop talking. He won't stop asking questions. We go on to today. Wait till you see this letter that the White House sent this reporter. This says, White House warns reporter Ateba about his press room outburst. And here is the actual letter that the White House sent to Simon Ateba. It says, this letter serves as your written warning pursuant to the May 5th, 2023 notice that the behavior you exhibited on June 26, 2023 is unacceptable. If you continue to impede briefings or events by shouting over your colleagues who have been called on for a question, even after you have been asked to stop by a White House employee, then your hard pass may be suspended or revoked following notice and an opportunity to respond. They are saying, we're going to kick you out of the White House. Who does Simon Ateba work for? It's this outlet right here. It's called Today News Africa. And it's basically a kind of a copy of the New York Post or something. It looks like he's the only person who works at this outlet. And you can't find much about him. See, Simon Ateba is the chief White House correspondent for Today News Africa. But he looks like the only writer on the website. And when I look up their address, best I could find is this building where they don't have any signage at all in Washington, D.C., where he says they're headquartered. So it's hard to see what's going on here. In fact, in this Daily Beast article, it gets a little more bizarre. This was about how they wouldn't let Ateba go to the White House 
Ross's press dinner, which is kind of screwed up. You know, this is one of the only black dudes in the room, and they're like, you're not coming to dinner. Ateba, whose notoriety has only grown thanks to his disruptive press briefing outburst and accusations of censorship by White House Correspondents Association, tweeted that the WHCA president, Tamara Keith, and the board won't let me buy a ticket for doing my job. However, only news organizations with WHCA members are eligible to purchase tickets, the group's main source of revenue. And as Ateba has recently acknowledged, his WHCA membership was rejected this year because he was unable to provide evidence he was employed by a legitimate news gathering outlet. Ateba operates the site Today News Africa and appears to be its sole sa- staffer. He claims he makes no salary and now touts himself as an influencer. I don't know exactly what's going on with this guy. I don't know why they aren't picking him or how he got here to begin with. How did he get this seat to begin with if he has just a website and he's the only staffer at this this, uh, website when there's only 49 seats to go around? On the other hand, I really like how he's putting the feet to the fire of some of these politicians and he's being boisterous in there along with all these vanilla-ass personalities that are sitting in this room, finally somebody who will step up and say some things that maybe are a little out of line sometimes. What do you think? Should he be booted from the White House? Is he being rude? Or is it rude of them not to ask him questions? And what is he doing there to begin with? Considering the website he works for seems to be a very small news outlet that just employs him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.